Come on. Come here, Rip. We've got to have a chat. Over here for a second. Oh, what do you have to say, fellas? Anything? We got him tight down. Yeah, we got him now. Watch out, watch out. I got it. Oh, it's okay. I'll get it. No way. We'll, we'll use the power of friendship. Use it all this power that I found, gonna totally abuse it. Dude, and I hit so much stuff, do not. Get Third step is, when you see the phone, you're in the zone. Wow, I just see myself 150 bucks. Cameraman has a unique job where he has to close this little hatch every time players come flying towards the glass. And just by seeing some of these collisions, you'll find out exactly why this hatch is necessary. And for this job, you're gonna need some good reflexes to not only save your camera, but also your bank account. Could you handle this job? wanted an update on the ice rink. The ice is now one inch thick. It snowed last night so I shoveled the rink. Then I put a fresh layer of water on to smooth everything out. It's supposed to get down to 16 degrees tonight, so there should be a lot of freezing so the rink might be ready to skate tomorrow night. Follow for the next update. This 4K footage of old time hockey is going viral. And look how straight the blades were back then. And no one was sniping Puck's top cheddar back then either. And goalies didn't have to wear a mask. But all this changed in the 60s, when Stan Makita got his stick wedged into the boards, splitting his blade into a V-shape. 
Makita kept playing with the crooked blade for a bit and realized he could now shoot the puck faster and higher. Makita and his teammate Bobby Hole started soaking their sticks in hot water and then placing them underneath their doors to curve overnight. With these new curved blades, Makita and Hole went from finishing outside the top 10 in scoring every year to finishing in the top 10 for eight straight seasons, changing the way the game was played forever. And now, Oh, come on, no. 